Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to another video tutorial. In this tutorial we're just going to be demonstrating the kill switch. How to add it, remove it, in case you don't want it. Um, obviously every route we send out has got the kill switch built in and obviously it doesn't suit everybody. I've been asked to make this video just to demonstrate how easy it is to add and remove. So open a browser. In the browser enter the router IP, in this case it's 192.168.12.1 if you've had it from us and click enter. Click on any of the tabs and it's going to ask you to enter your username and password, although this is cached. If you click on status, you're going to see that um, open VPN tab, sorry, click status, open VPN, you're going to see that the VPN is connected. Administration and then click commands. And then basically this is the firewall script, which is the kill switch. Okay, now it will come with this in. If it doesn't come with this in or whatever, I'll leave it in the description. Or if you want to remove it, basically just click edit. So it puts it into the commands up here, highlight everything, click delete, and then click save firewall. And as you'll notice now, it's obviously it's removed it. What I'm going to do is demonstrate just quickly it working with and without. And as you can see, it's just dropped the WAN connection at the moment because obviously it's sorting itself out. And obviously it's going to be, uh, if you click on administration, uh, sorry, click on status, open VPN, it's obviously still going to be running. Now, obviously, if that VPN stopped now, with having no kill switch in, you would still be getting out uh, on the internet through the router, but obviously not protected behind your VPN. So we would advise you actually use the VPN kill switch, to be honest with you. Once you've got the kill scripts copied, just right click and click paste into there and click save as firewall. Okay, so that's done now. And obviously the, the router is going to drop the line again. After a few seconds, it's going to uh, connect it back up. Let's give it a second. Okay, so that's back up again. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate that it's um, obviously able to get out onto the internet. So open up another browser, go to Google, and just type in news. And obviously it's going to select today's news. So what we're going to do is just remove, obviously then just check that the VPN is working. Yes, obviously the VPN is running and we can get out. Okay, and do what's my IP. It's just going to be an IP of the VPN. Okay, we're just going to demonstrate that obviously the, the kill script, the kill switch is working. So we're going to click, select services, VPN. Click here where it says open VPN client. I'm going to click disable and click to apply settings. So basically now the IP, uh, the VPN isn't running. And if you click status, obviously you can see the VPN has disappeared. So the kill switch is still there correct so we're going to go to there we're going to click what's my ip and click enter now that's just going to scroll until it times out because obviously now the kill switch is doing its job the vpn has stopped so it won't allow any traffic through the through the router so so if you type in news it's not going to get there okay so if you go back over to services vpn and start the VPN. Let's give it a second to connect. So now if you type in news, as you can see it's working. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave it there and you'll find the kill switch script in the description in case you need it. And uh, hopefully that's some of you see and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.